recording started. Cool. So yeah, checking out the Forza. Very excited. I'm very tired from a show last night. So I am very excited to finally check this game out. I did load it up just a minute ago. Um, John, you missed me playing with Ragnar for a couple minutes. He was literally just like on my chair when I got back from the bathroom. So I was like, fuck it, I'm starting stream now. <laughs> uh, I did load this up. I don't know if that's gonna fuck up that like first race or anything. We are gonna go with Narita, that. One of seven, value selector, off, one of two. I think I already went through this. Yeah, it did save. Did it? It did. Okay. I went through just to make sure, like, things worked. We gather at iconic cathedrals of speed. Iconic. Like fucking Maple Valley. United by passion. Which I want to say is one of the ones that they made specifically for this game. Driven by competition. I'm very excited though. Celebrate every second found. How's the audio sound though? And discover who we are at the limit. I can't touch loud. Welcome to a new era of motorsport. Welcome to Forza. Forza. Very excited. With all these classic cars and these new like hyper cars like this Cadillac. Ooh. Beauty. Just barely louder than me. Okay. Like there. Yeah, I'm way too tired to play Assassin's Creed. I've been exhausted all day. So, but I wanted to get a stream in. Uh, even though it'll only be like maybe an hour and a half. Maybe two hours. Um, just to, you know, keep on the consistency that I've been on this past week. Maple Valley. I am using a controller because I was too lazy to set up the wheel. And also download the game onto the PC. Is that, is that a Subaru? It is. Oh, it's an S209. I'm sorry. Aston. Nope. Oh. It's McLaren. My bad. Oh, no. Wait. That looks more like a Noble from the back. Ferrari? What the fuck? Today I learned I don't know my cars as well as I thought. That's a Mustang, that's for damn sure. Oh, this is a horrible line. Oh 
Okay, haven't played a game like this in a while. Especially not with controller. And I need to stop looking at the cars, like that Supra. Oh, that turn is so weird. turn, thank you. This ending almost reminds me of Watkins Glen in a weird That's way. just a taste of a typical practice session with light traffic. Now let's see what the final laps of an endurance race is like against a full field of competition. Oh good. Next up, Hakone, Japan. Oh good, this is gonna go great. I'm assuming the Cadillac, being that it's the cover car. Are there endurance races in this game? Like, full, like, Plenty six hour endurance races. Just one last pit stop for fresh tires, and he'll be in a great position for the final push. That is not how fast endurance pit stops are. Is clear to the left. Get on it. Wait, doing what? The endurance race? Oh, that was horrible. I need to remember how to do this. I will also use rewind to my advantage every chance I get. Uh. I know I made a video where I did like a 50% length uh, Monaco GP, which was basically the last video until this past week. So this track flows really well. Oh, I say that as I go off. Why are you so slow? You're in a hypercar. Not even the Persia. hard on the power. These also have a lot of grip compared to that Corvette. Please, side draft, thank you. I get to first. Oh! Not like that. Not if I keep doing that. Also, who on earth would be able to go from like 12th to first in two laps in an endurance car? Second, I'll take it. Podium finish. That's fantastic. Woo.
achievement. I love these games so much. From open practice runs to thrilling wheel-to-wheel -wheel races, that's just a small sample of what's ahead. Ready to begin your motorsport journey? I think Forza... What was it? Motorsport 2? It had to have been. Was my first, like... Sim-ish... Uh, racing game. You can come back later to try something else or to check out what's new. Uh, which one did I see that looked kind of sick? That one looks dope. Might also just be because I'm seeing G. Jones tomorrow. And I'm here for the... Express yourself. Easy achievement. The car's journey from the showroom floor to Are the these the circle. options for the first the car? Of a thousand little decisions. Every part. Every detail, all carefully chosen by great builders who know what it takes. Oh, please, not a challenger. Golf would be good. That extra tenth of a second. Super would be really good. <laughs> create something Actually, that, that Porsche. Extension of themselves. That's a GR Supra. Nice. Dream car right there. Your car's journey begins here. To become a builder's cup champion. Oh. You'll need to outsmart and outbuild your opponent. Well, if it's these three, it's easily the Subaru. Wheel to wheel on race day. As much as I love a Type R, a Subaru is a Subaru. For our first series, we have a few cars for you Head to Head gaskets. From. It's Each what makes a, a Subaru a Subaru. So pick the one that speaks to you. It's this one. It's the S209. The limited edition STI 209 may be the greatest high-performance Subaru of all time. Its compact turbocharged engine and all-wheel drive system is perfect for epic acceleration and remarkable handling. The engine detail looked a little scuffed. These games are normally, like, the reflections look incredible. Yeah, confirm. Solid decision. It's... All-wheel drive versus front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. I will take the all-wheel every chance I... Here is where you achievements, please. Best possible racing experience by adjusting the difficulty and rule set. As your oh. racing skills evolve, try raising the difficulty to earn even more credits to buy other cars. Okay, let's do that. I should have turned up. Uh... Why eight? Why is it a scale of eight, not ten? Let's start with four. Sport rules. Thirty-four. Uh, it seems like a lot at level four. Oh, you have to place first, second, or third. Uh, let's start at three. Cause I'm playing on a controller. Club a circuit. Grand Oak. Cool. Grand Professor Oak. Didn't know he was a dad. Now he's a granddad. Practice is your time to learn the track layout and how your car handles. I've set a target lap time for you. If you struggle to achieve the lap time, okay. consider changing the difficulty settings before the race. Now let's get after it. Cool. I'm here for it. I also like the simulation tires and gas. That made me excited. Because I don't think that's really been a thing in any Forza games yet. Gran Turismo, yeah. Practice is a critical part of any race event, where you hone your skills with your latest build on the track you'll be racing. As you practice, you earn credits, and we'll be tracking your lap times to see how you match up against the competition before the race. It's a target lap time. Oh. I guess we'll get a very quick understanding of if I set the difficulty right. I can full speed that. 
or if anything just lift. Did not break enough. Clearly. Wow. Okay, so fucking up that line is real bad. I guess I should explain the title of this stream. Why do I feel like I'm not steering at all? So last night I went to Alice in Wonderland at Red Rocks. I beat it by two seconds. Okay. 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 Nailed it. If I need to go up to four, I'll go up. Everything feels very heavy. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, cool. Car level 2. Are there, like, bonuses for playing previous games? I'm gaining on the cars in front. Decently quickly. Is that a Prius? No. No, it's not. Okay. The back really looks like a Prius for a minute. Oh, it's a Cadillac. Interesting. Oh, the tire squeal. Uh, so yeah, I went to Alice in Wonderland last night, as I was saying. Um, great, great musician. But it was freezing. Like, it got down to like 35 by the time we left. Required practice laps complete. Great work. Feel free to end practice at any time or continue running hot laps until the session times out. Uh... get better, but I want to get into open air. There we go. Because though, like, these, like, turn two, three, and four confuse me a bit. Oh, I'm not breaking before the turn. That's why. So it was really cold last night. <clears throat> Sorry, this story's taken forever. Like, it was cold and windy while we were waiting in line, but we had the sun on us. And then the mountains hit. Or, then the sun went by the mountains. Why was that slower? Uh, and it, like, immediately started to just, like, get real cold. 
but dancing and being cold? What was that achievement for? I have to manually come to speed? No, I don't. Okay. Um, but cold and dancing and then having to walk back to the car? Um, is exhausting. I'm Hopping off with achievements today, Jesus. Okay, so that's how a pit stop works. Very basic. And for some reason, I'm normally good after shows, like the morning might be a little rough. I'll sleep in later than normal. I did that. And then I was just still dead tired today. Just all day. I did, however, get to start the fall of the House of Usher. Please. Um, so I'm only like two-ish episodes in, I think. I don't even think I've finished that second one yet. But it's really good so far. So, highly recommend that, especially if you liked Haunting of Hill House, Haunting of Bly Manor, Midnight Mass, uh, any of those Mike Flanagan shows. I didn't watch last year's Midnight Club. Okay, we'll get this lab in. Oh, that counter steer is very quick. This, yeah. Challenger is coming right by me. Uh, so, definitely watch those if you like scary shows. It's based on the book Follow the House of Usher by uh, Edgar Allan Poe. And so far, they've done a really great job. All episodes are at. Uh, out, I should say. Um, so, if you need a show to binge, watch it. It's great. I'm also a, a sucker for anything Mike Flanagan. I want to say he also did Doctor Sleep. The sequel to The Shining. Uh, and then I... <laughs> In not so good things that I've watched, we'll finish that. <laughs> I watched the uh, new Transformers: Rise of the Beasts. Wasn't bad. By no means great, though. Okay, I'm starting to get a handle of how this game works. A bit. Just like, oh shit, Darth Raptor 1661. I'm assuming just other driver tars. Slash it's players. It's a stacked field today for this first event. Plenty of time to size up the competition before race starts. Cool. Woohoo. 
I'm assuming as you progress further, you'll be able to swap on like softs or medium or hard tires. so bulky compared to everyone else's. This should be a relatively easy win, actually. I wish there was a qualifying. Why was there not? There's practice, but there's not qualifying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. Is that a penalty? Ooh. Okay, so no penalty, but... Okay. That was actually a decent turn. It's really hard to tell how much you need to break. Yes. And I got around on the outside. Perfect. That was actually a pretty clean pass. I'll take it. Oh, I just remembered that I have a show again tomorrow at the exact same place that I was yesterday. later. Ooh. Thankfully, tomorrow is supposed to be ever so slightly warmer. So it'll only be like 45 instead of 50 or 60, 35. Jesus, one of those numbers. Still in for a cold night. Actually, kind of works to carry that wide. I'm gonna see if I can do this with. Yeah, you don't have to lift at all here. At least not in this car. Final lap. You got this. I feel like I'm breaking too early, but I'm. I think I might need to change the difficulty up a bit. Because even with my shit driving, I am pulling a quite large gap. He just got into got onto this final straight. Whoop whoop. We won them. Up six. Points earned after every race will determine our overall series standings. 
Ending the series at the top of the leaderboard means that trophy is ours. Oh, series points, probably. I'm like, what the hell does SP stand for? Builders Cup event number one in the books. Good showing out there today. Woo! -hoo! Let's go. Oh, and a sword. 11k. As our car levels up, we'll unlock new parts that we can use to increase vehicle performance. Tire Okay. We're ready to head out for our next event. Cool. Between each event, you'll have the opportunity to upgrade your car. Use the valuable car points you've earned for new performance parts. New parts will be unlocked as you level up your car throughout the series. Cool. Jello. Leveling up your car earns you car points, or CP for short. Using your CP, I hate when the they use CP. Performance upgrades to install. Like, come Try up with a different acronym, different please. Parts. If a part doesn't get you the results you were looking for, remove it. Then use the refunded CP for something else. Oh. No two cars are the same. Each car has its own unique set of parts. As you level up the car, new categories of parts will unlock. Installing parts will change the car's performance, and the PI number will be recalculated to reflect that change. A car's PI is determined by its level of performance. The faster the car, the higher the PI number. Car class corresponds to a specified PI range. Like Each event will have private a car investigator. class and PI limit that we will need to stay under in order to compete. As we build, oh we my God. keep an eye on the balance between power and handling. Over investing in any full speed, no handling, no braking. Experiment to find a build that's right for you. And just full speed and acceleration. Just make a diagonal line. That's Quick all you need. Will install parts for you and build a car with a balance. That's complete life. You actually need really good brakes and good handling, so you can actually turn. This is a summary of how your car's performance will change when we install the parts. Oh, no, thank you. I, right. Do I have to? Now that we have some new parts installed. Let's head out for our next event. Can I? Okay. Looks good. Let's I wanted to, to actually, going. like, look at things. I get that it's a tutorial, though. Skip that. I don't need Changing the intro. One driving assist at a time is the best way to understand how each affects car control. Isn't this the Ferrari track? The Magello? While you're running the required practice laps, push that new build to the limit to hit that target lap time. Is Magello the. As you practice, you will pass through select track segments that are key okay, to Okay, I figured that out. Times. I figured that out. Your time is tracked through key segments, and when you improve your time, you'll receive a car progression bonus. Just let me play. This... I swear it's Magello. But they have their own, like, private track as well. Ooh. Did not break enough initially. That was kind of off track, please. Every circuit features key segments, like the one you just completed, Down. that we can use to gauge your overall lap performance. 
Experiment with where to get on the brakes, when to accelerate, and find your perfect racing line to shave precious seconds off your lap time. Oh, wow, the curbs count is on track. Sorry, it's kind of hard to shave time when there's a car directly in front of me that I need to get around. This I actually don't know. Is an S209 faster than a Supra? Especially if it's a GR. Ooh, that's such a tight turn. Okay. There we go. That was... Decent ish. And we'll have no problem getting the results we're after today. So one eleven oh two is my best time. I was actually looking in the background during that turn, so Ooh. Somehow, still better. Tense. So I shaved off three ish tents. That turn. You need to turn in so much later. Okay, Caddy, move. Out to the way. Bullshit. Okay, I figured out that little chicane a bit. Also been playing a lot of track mania where you can break and turn at the same time because I know turns are kind of split up into like three distinct sections entries there's so many cars where I am right now Um, there's the entry. Like, it's just so weird. Whoa. Entry, apex, exit. I want to just, like... Just for shits and giggles. Okay, that felt nice. Why well, have so many cars out right now? Very interesting pit entry. Ooh. Okay.
little wide on that. I think. Carried too much speed in. And then exited too narrow to get a good line here. Gained a lot on the Camaro, though. Why did you break so early? Okay. We have a little bit of space. We can actually see how this goes. Because I should be able to get sub 110 here. Theoretically. Lap should still be faster by a decent chunk. So, like, I think all of those have been 14s until that one. Yeah, 1093. Almost a second off. Okay, I understand it now. I don't like that the practice, like, I get that that's how it, how it is in real life. Everyone's out there. But there's just always so many people out there. Oh, that Nissan Z. And next to me. Horrible start. That is Veloster N. Hell yeah. I want one of those cars so badly. So we started in seventh. Should be able to win. you break through that entire corner. Once I get more used to the game, I'll turn on, like, track limits and stuff. Get off the curb, thank you. that segment score. I know I was offline, but I was passing cars. Also 6.7. Come on, that should have been a 6.9. Because it was nice. Oh, that break in the middle. I don't want to break in the middle of that. These cars are like, you know those people when you're on a road and they see that they need to turn right, so they come to like a complete stop in the middle of the road, and you're doing like 45, 
and they're down to like 10 just to make a turn onto another street with fast moving cars well I guess there wouldn't be cars if they're making the turn but you know the situation Is that a thing? Because he's pulling away from me. I might be able to outbreak him on the turn. Okay. That was bad. Hey, no penalty, though. game I should say I have 10 laps or 9 laps worth of gas but only this lap and the next lap to complete okay I'm gaining I'm gaining I'm gaining how do they pull so far ahead Matched my personal best. Come on, get by him. to get around. I tried to make the move. I will never claim to be good at these games, but I do enjoy them. I'm getting second here. Unless this dude completely throws these last two turns. Keep it clean out there. We don't want to pick up any time penalties that could hurt our chances oh. at a top finish. I think I still got second even with that, but oh, I got a 108. Good work out there. P2. Cadillac CT4. I don't think I've seen a CT4. At least consciously. Like in real life. System. Ooh, springs and dampers. Springs and dampers give me. Only one more event left to go in the series. Let's get going. Okay. Give me. Yes. Yes. Ooh. I feel like the exhaust is not as beneficial as the fuel system. Looks like the car is ready. So that let's should be okay. Was that for manually doing it? I really got to figure out why I'm hearing. double pops. Like, I get that it's from the uh, computer as well, but... Oh, Kailami. I really wish F1 would go back to Kailami. 
Seems like it would be a really cool track to watch them go around. Skip. Skip. Start. Skip. Oh, I can't skip. Gotta see him getting in the car. And by him, I mean me. don't know this track at all so at least not well enough to remember I'm sure I've raced it in some game at some point or another in my life does the inside work here? it does wide kept it on track when did I go off track at the other or at the previous race was it in literally those final two turns oh oh that is a sweeping turn could probably just lift and coast through it and then get on it like three quarters of the way through if I had to guess I keep forgetting that they break stupid early that they don't just, like, turn into you anymore. They're just like, I'm on the line. Oh, very sharp hairpin. I have no idea if that's good. Started here. Oh, I love hearing when I get off the gas. Please, jeez. If I can be on the outside there, cut across, it opens it up a bit, but not much. Faster than 217. Okay, I'm definitely going to need to pump the difficulty up. It's also weird because this is, like, on a hill. So, like, some of these uphill turns or throw me off a bit. Okay, definitely can't just release. Definitely cannot just release. Maybe in a car with more downforce. again. A horrible turn. I can't follow cars for shit. Eh. Eh. Okay. I 
say I have a little bit of free space, but I kind of really don't. Unless they all dive in. Jesus. A couple did, but I'm going to come out like... Or they're going to come out right where I am, yeah. So there's three ahead of me now. Don't get that turn. Oh, this makes me miss my Veloster. Just my hatchbacks in general. Miss my Subaru. Despite how painful it was for me to drive. should explain. I had to sell my WRX uh, because manual is not great as a daily for me, specifically. Because uh, I have a very, 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 very bad left knee through multiple years of damage. Oh, that was great if that forward wasn't there and I could have continued on to the line I needed. Okay, a little bit of space now. Full speed after the hairpin. Break at the... F 100? Yeah, probably the hundred all the way through. Lift, maybe. Or break. Just a brief break. Is up. Ooh. Excellent practice lap. Let's go racing. Let's well, not until I can figure this track out a little bit more. Okay, I have this first one kind of figured out. Break at the hundred, small break in the middle of the turn just to continue to rotate the car. This one I'm still figuring out. Probably just break before the turn, kind of coast a little bit through. I don't know. Yeah, the, that turn sequence I don't fully understand. just did bad. I braked a bit too late. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ, microphone. Why were you there? I'm down to 40 miles an hour. See if I can remember this one. 100. Oh, that's a weird turn. I 
Is Bathurst in here? Because I love that track. It's a pain in the ass to drive, but I love that track. It's just that downhill there. Still did it in under the target time. Yikes. start was apparently not as good as I thought it was. Half a second slower. This track is really cool. And I'm starting to see why people want it on the Formula 1 calendar. for a shitty segment score. 1.0. Okay, that was a bit better. Dang, I'm rising up these car levels. this lap was. Low 209. Yep. Fuck. This car is so fucked. <laughs> that damn Alpine. Which I guess, to be fair, I was the one trying to pass. each race, you can adjust your starting position. If you cross the finish line in first, second, or third position, you will receive a podium bonus. The size of the podium bonus depends on your starting position and difficulty. Why didn't you tell me this on the first race? The more you challenge yourself, the bigger the podium bonus could be. We start fifth. Because I realistically... Is this part of Ragnar's nail? I think fifth is realistically where I can start from and win. I don't know, am I just supposed to hold it all the way up? I think so. I didn't realize it was a nighttime race. Why did we start on this side? Oh, yikes, I have so much, to, so much work to do here. Okay. Okay, Renault, thank you. Camaro, goodbye. Okay, almost back up to where I started. That inside line just had so much more grip. I'm sorry, Z, you're so pretty. I've only seen that car once. Okay, okay. That was not me. Oh, thank God, no penalty. Thank you, stewards. Oh, 
I'm up to fourth though. I was there. Okay, now that I'm getting into the groove a bit, jeez. Let's go ahead and try that again. I didn't even turn. Okay, I guess I should have guessed that this is a longer track. I probably could have started further back. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Is that a challenger up front? Is indeed a challenger. Muscle cars known for their great track speed. Strange. Actually, it honestly kind of makes sense. Why are you still breaking? Why are you still breaking? the lowest segment score and still leveled up my car. Where can I make this move? Do not come across me. But I will come across you because you are not there. Haha. <laughs> that help? There we go. I'm like holding my breath through these turns, just hoping I got it right. That one I finally understand. Just a tiny little break tap. Good segment score. One more. Finish strong. I'm gonna. There we go. I hope after this, like little three race series it kind of opens up a little bit more of like you can go purchase cars you can uh, go to different tracks and all that stuff you have to break like just after the 50 board there Now 
Damn, minus 1.6. I might personal best on this one. Not if I do that. Personal best is like 2093, right? Oh, fuck off last turn. He <laughs> lost so much in that one turn. Woo. 2107. Welcome well to done. Builder's Cup. We finished P1. Oh, yeah, that was just the tutorial. Damn. It's a hell of a tutorial. normally that like first race that is basically the tutorial where you're like going between a couple different cars banana driver level trace practice raced bonus congrats we just earned our first builders Ooh. cup trophy not a bad way to start our collection So many things. And a new rear ring. Cool. Continue. Let's see what's next. I want to look at a little bit more and then go up. There we go. Loyalty reward. Fuck yes. But I'll see you faithful fan. That's it. Practical. Finish practical perform. Oh, this thing. Okay. Can I just like pick a track and go? Curious what this is. <laughs> the electrifying sight. And seductive growl of these track focused exotics cause major disturbances everywhere they go. Barely I see STOs all the time on the street, they're shapes, fine. Epic power and razor sharp handling have been modified to a whole new level, eschewing ultimate luxury in favor of ultimate track performance. STOs are fine on the street, let's be real. Ooh. Oh, I forgot about the KTM. Yeah, I don't think I have enough for, uh, well, any of these. Oh. Oh, GT2. Track exotics. Like some modern tour, enthusiast tour. Damn. So you actually have to like go through the classes. Hell yeah. I like that. So what if I go back? Because I kind of want to drive that uh, Porsche that I got gifted. I was thinking about getting the add ons for this game. Um, it's in the mail. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, that's for... That's for the car pass. Racing GTI, TA Challenger. 99 Nismo. And a BMW M2. Ooh, I like those. Yep. Um... Ah, buy cars. Let's Welcome see. Welcome to the showroom. Here you'll find hundreds of cars by dozens of manufacturers. PRC Expo. I think it's technically pronounced crossbow. 
but everyone calls it the Expo. At least that I've ever heard. The Viper. I actually saw one of these driving around last week. It's fucking wild. I never see those things driving around. Even in my area. Gorgeous car. <laughs> Interesting looking car. Wouldn't say it's gorgeous or hideous either way. Ooh. Oh, the Ariel Adam. The Valhalla. Damn. So that was what I was seeing in the background. I couldn't quite tell if it was that or the Valkyrie. Ooh, the Vulcan. Yes. Oh, these old Astons. The new Audi e-trons. I see those all the time. Oh, dream hatchback. For me and a lot of other people. I'm just so curious what else they have. Yeah, of course, R8s. How much? Jesus Christ. That one's always fun to dig around in. Because it's damn near impossible to drive. With the controller, at least. Ooh, Pina Farina. Uh, Bentley Continental. Also saw one of those the other day. I've seen a lot of expensive cars recently. Not surprised there's an i8. Uh, ooh. Can I, like, test these cars? BRM. Oh. Well, now I have to see if they have Jim Clark's Lotus. Call me crazy? Not a big fan of Bugatti's. Except for, like, the old, old ones. Buick. Caddies. Oh, fucking goofy ass car. That wing is actually useful. Every Corvette known to man, and Camaro, and Nova. Hmm. Isn't this the car that Jeremy Clarkson drove in their like Battle of the Hatchbacks? Oh, that looks sick. Fucking SRT4s. A lot of cars I'll probably never drive. Oh, SF90. Seen three of those this year, I think. Maybe just two, and one of them was twice. Never seen that. Saw... Uh, which one did I see the same day as the... Uh, NSX. It was a spider. But I, I want to say it was a 488. Might have been a 458. Oh, I've never seen a La Ferrari. Have seen an Enzo. Just artwork on wheels. Same as F40s. Good god. Okay, well, now I have to see. Can I... Nope. I don't see a test drive option. Unless it's in another menu. Like in the tracks? Oh, God. Ooh. Classics, yep. Ford, 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 Ford. Wait, 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 wait a second. Yep. That's all I care about. Specifically this one, but. And that, the Lamar. Damn, big selection of SDKs, original NSX. 
That's sick. Oh, is that the only hundred? Oh no. Duh. They have these three Vlosters. What? Oh, it's with those. Which I eventually might get. Depending on how into this I get. Next J220S. TWR. Damn. Coning eggs. Oh, no one to one though. Damn. Oh, check for D types. Jesus. Yeah, the original KTM. Which was wild when they released it, considering they're like a, a motorcycle company. I expect every Lamborghini in the world here. Oh, I was like, why did they change so much? But it's GTR versus SV. Oh, Countach. Damn, that's dope. How have I never heard of that? Drama S. I will have to keep that in mind. Lotus. Show me Jim Clark's car. Yes! Oh. That's the year he died. But still, yes. Couldn't have done like a 65. Lotus. Still, at least I have the type of car he drove. Damn, they got fucking hella formula cars. McLarens. Uh, yep, I'm, I'm expecting Senna, P1s, damn, F1s, oh, Senna's car. Wait. Yeah, Senna was with McLaren in 88. I think that's when he won his first title. Mercedes AMG 1. Do they have their Mercedes Formula cars? Oh, damn. I feel like if any modern team would uh, allow them to use their car it would realistically probably be Red Bull. Because the newest I've seen is maybe the 90 Ferrari. Wait, how much is the new Z? 83k. What's this used market? Oh. Oh. Pagani. Only one Pagani. Interesting. And it's a Huara. Hmm. Feel like more will get added. Unless Horatio said no. Every Porsche in the world. Wait, one thing I didn't see. Unless I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, wow. Not even the XR4TI. Interesting. Uh, where is Lamborghini? Was the... I know it's going to be mostly track cars, but... Huh. No Urus. Alright, where were we? Mini Mitsubishi, Neo, Nissan. Probably Nissan. I don't know why, but that front end looked so weird. It might just be the reflections, though. Ooh. Stock cars. I like that they have a right Pagani. Porsche. Ultimate. Ultimate? Ultimate dream car. Right here. GT3 RS. Hell, I'd, I'd settle for a GT3. Let's be honest. Carrera 
Kakuru GT. Damn. Still am yet to see one of those. What's weird is I see, um, like, this era of Porsche a lot in my area. Might be closer to this one, but... It's all, I, I always am just like, ah, the fuck? But I see him, like, all the time. I think it's just a few people that just still love driving him. What the fuck is this thing? Race suit. Raymax? Yep. No concept to one. Too afraid people would recreate Richard Hammond's crash, are we? Always here for the Shelbys. Yep, now we're here in Super. Oh, the LaForge. Damn. Oh, I missed my hatch. Yep. Supra, Celica, Supra, MR2. I've seen like three different MR2s recently. When it had been like probably five years since I'd seen one. VRS Ultimas. VWs. Basically just gonna be golfs and rabbits and Shirakas. Wait, is there a, even a rabbit? Nope. Volvo. I'm a sucker for a good Volvo. Eh, that's a good list. It's a good list. Hi, me here. Sorry this uh, stream VOD ended a little abruptly. I actually ended up playing a little bit more and figured the latter part where I was just kind of testing a couple cars, um, would make for a good YouTube video on its own. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, that's really it. Um, thanks for watching this. And if you want to see me play more, maybe Forza online or live, uh, I'll be on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Skylink live. Uh, I know for the next like couple weeks, I'll actually have Assassin's Creed Mirage that I'm finishing up and then Spider-Man 2 comes out, I think. Oh, and Mario Wonder. So, those are going to take priority, but I still might be making some, you know, Forza videos uh, off stream for this while I'm playing another game for the reviews. So, uh, sorry it ended weird. All I got to say. Bye. Thank you.